Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb, and I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. So robotic spine surgery is the use of robotic guidance to place instrumentation into the spine. Robots have been around for a number of different years. Uh, they've been used by various specialties like cardiothoracic surgery, general surgery, urology, and the list goes on. The common question that I get all the time is, are robots actually replacing doctors? And the answer is actually no. So as a robot that I use in surgery, for spine surgery, this robot actually assists me in the surgery. I'm still making the incision, I'm still placing these screws into the spine. The robot actually allows for more precision and accuracy when placing instrumentation. There are two different main reasons why we would perform surgery as a spine surgeon. There's a decompression procedure where we remove the pressure off the nerves and the spinal cord, and then there's a fusion procedures where if there is instability, if there is in, uh, destruction of the spine by a tumor or some type of infection, then that's when we fuse the spine. I'm a very conservative surgeon, so I try to avoid a fusion procedures um, as much as possible, unless a patient has instability. I went to a fellowship where we were kind of at the forefront of innovation and technology, and I got trained in all various uh, types of uh, technologies that, that is out there, including artificial disc replacement, robotic spine surgery, as well as computer-guided uh, spinal navigation. Patients who may be candidates for robotic spine surgery are patients who fail conservative treatment. Majority of the patients that come to see me in my office, nine out of 10, 90% of those patients are going down the conservative route with physical therapy, medications, and then injections. If those things fail, then surgery may certainly be an option. This procedure is usually started with the um, obtaining a CAT scan of your lumbar spine or your thoracic spine, and these images are then transferred over to the robotic software. This allows me as a surgeon to plan for your surgery and to actually know exactly the trajectory of the screws, what size screws that we will use, so that the day of surgery, um, it makes it more effective and more efficient. Traditionally, back in the day when lumbar fusions or thoracic fusions were performed, used to be long incisions. Patients used to stay in the hospital for days, sometimes weeks, um, lots of muscle and tissue damage. But the use of robotics and spine surgery specifically allows us to perform minimally invasive uh, type procedures where there's smaller incisions, less muscle damage, and then patients ultimately do better. They get out the hospital quicker and they have a quicker return to recovery. If you have failed conservative treatment, including physical therapy, medications, pain medications, as well as injections, then robotic spine surgery may be an option for you. I would invite you to visit my website, AntoniaWebMD.com, to see if you are a candidate for one of these procedures. I look forward to meeting you.